and we're going to use a backlight LED tester to test the backlights. Uh, I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get the backlight LED uh, strip tester. So right here, we, it looks like we have two bad LEDs. And those two bad LEDs is enough to shut down the whole entire backlight circuit. It's a safety precaution that the uh, circuit uh, shuts down the whole entire circuit if something fails. Just prevents uh, further damage to the TV. So this is the repair kit. It consists of LEDs and diffuser lens. And you're going to pry it under and just slide it down. Using a hot hair dryer actually loosens the adhesive on the LED strips. Now these, there's two parts of these LED strips. There's left and right. And they're labeled L and R. Okay, so right there, I mar marked the X on the bed LED. So make sure you mark it. And then I have tweezers. I'm going to heat it up on a heat pad and remove the diffuser lens. And then heat it up again and let that solder liquefy. Get tweezers. Don't pry it off. If you rip off the solder pads or solder pads, then you have to replace the, LED, the whole entire LED strip. So just uh, wait until it liquefies and it, you'll feel it uh, loosen up and then you can remove it softly or gently. Just you, Sometimes it takes a minute or two. And then this one is actually cracked. So this one's going to come out in two pieces. And almost there. You, there you go. So you slide it off just like that. Now using a multimeter, you could put your meter in uh, diode mode, which is uh, this mode right here. You see that little arrow. It's diode mode. And then with the positive and negative probes, you test each side of that diode, which is the LED, light emitting diode. And I touch the cathode and anode. And it should turn on the LED. Uh, this says OL on the screen and then if you reverse the leads and then it'll say 0.7 usually it shouldn't it sh you shouldn't hear that that's a short signal so if you if you touch it like that and you hear that noise that means the um, LED is shorted it's bad or if you read one way and it reads OL one way and you reverse the leads and it reads OL the other way, then that's open. So that's also bad. So let me turn off the light so you guys take a look what it's doing. See? So that's how you test it. And there's a, a fat solder pad and a skinny solder pad. So now I'm prepping the solder pads with fresh solder. Just need a layer and then make sure you put the LED in the right spot. One side and the back of the LED will be a, a wide solder pad and then a skinny solder pad connection, which is the positive and negative on the diode. It's LED is a diode basically, a light emitting diode. And then set it in and it'll settle right in. And now we're going to test it and just plugs right in and the adhesive should stick right on. I usually um, don't replace the adhesive. I never had any issues with that. And then you're going to test it with the LED tester. Put a load on it for maybe three or four seconds. Right there. Looks good. And then we're going to use three dots of super glue to put the diffuser lens on. And then go ahead and hold that in place for a good 30 seconds. And next, then we're going to work on the next one. And with this one, we just let it heat up for a couple minutes or maybe a minute or so. And use the needle nose tweezers. Remove it. And then we're going to prep the pads. And once again, there's a fat pad and a skinny pad. If you bridge the connections, by the way, you'll probably damage the LED. So it, at that point, you would have to remove it and put a new LED. Now just let it settle in, in place, and we're going to test it. Make sure uh, I didn't bridge that connection, because I think I put too much solder on that. 
Nope, it, it is good. And then we're gonna put the, um, the push pins back on. Plug it in. Press the power button. Oh wait, we got black. The backlight is on. No picture though. Oh it. Oh cool. We got a picture. Uh, this may apply for other TV models as well. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get the um, TV repair kit. Um, also in the video description will be the other TV models that this fix will um, apply. If you want more how-to videos coming your way, click on the subscribe link right here or down below and select the bell to be notified for my latest videos. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. If you wanna check out my other TV repair videos, click on this playlist right here. And give me a big thumbs up if this video was informative. Thanks guys for watching.